So let's talk about the tools that we use step by step to boost your online reputation. You don't need a negative reputation or negative links on the first page of search to begin building a positive online presence. Number one is our suppression kits. We used to have these big lists of networks that again, as I mentioned, we have turned into three different spreadsheets. They're all available on school. School's a platform we've used to build a community of people who are working to improve their online reputation. For years, we only did the service. We gave these spreadsheets away for free, but we didn't have the time to update them and continue releasing them on a consistent basis. Again, our proprietary information, our spreadsheets, all of our content, they served as internal documents for our team to fix online reputations. But now we've built this platform called School. In School, you can log in and take course modules to learn how to fix your own online reputation. Three suppression kits, which you can use and work away on to fix your online reputation. But as we build out the course modules and more content, the price of the platform will go up slightly. Obviously, we're gonna to try to keep this affordable for people who, again, don't wanna purchase our services or wanna do this themselves. And even without school, you can use the resources on this channel to really get a head start. But if you want a community where other people are fixing their online reputations, you want access to monthly calls to review the first page of Google search results together as a team, and you wanna work away at it and have control over your own online presence while gaining the knowledge, school is great for you. All you have to do is navigate to the link in the description below and sign up. It's month to month, but you can also cancel it. So. Totally up to you. Our suppression kits live there. If you need help beyond that, simply use Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest. These websites are a really good start. And you can search on the web to find other resources. So this is using free social media content to suppress negative links on the web. This has always worked. It's still working today. But things have changed in 2024. You need to publish more prolifically. Your content has to be real. It can't just be spam content. And it has to serve the purpose of your communications goals and objectives. You can outline this in a communications plan before you start publishing content. We have longer communications plans for our clients. You can do a really short one. For example, my name is Nader. I make content about online reputation management. But two other pillars or topics that I'm interested in and want to be known for is A, I'm involved in the Canadian political scene here in Canada. I want to make content about Canada for Canadians. Totally different, but it adds more texture to my robust online presence. Another one is, occasionally I give business tips. And so I also might want to add that. So think about maybe three things. The number one thing you want to be known for, if you're struggling, think about your career. Publish professional content about your career, but just be a little bit careful not to publish about the company so there's no carryover. If you're working for an organization, just be mindful. So these are some really good things to do. You have your communications plan, you have your suppression kits, or if you don't have the suppression kits, you're starting to publish content. The next step is, and this is the number one thing I recommend people do, personal websites. Personal websites, if they're real and they're about you and they're contextual, they will rank in the first page, first result of search engines. Tried, tested, true, it works perfectly. So I recommend creating your own personal website. From that point onwards, you can create more websites. I don't recommend doing it all at once. You're gonna spread yourself too thin. Focus on one really nice website about you and your personal brand. Think of it like a portfolio. I have my own website where I talk a little bit about what I've done, my experience, and some of the work that we do. It links onto the business website, which is step number two. You don't have to create a business in order to have a second website if you're gonna build another one because you wanna get result one, two, and three. You don't have to build a second website and make it about business. You can make this second website about community involvement. Maybe blog about something you're interested in, like Animal Rescue, write about that. But make sure you're using your first name and your last name in the headline of the website. In SEO, we call this H1 tag. The H1 tag is going to allow that website to get indexed by Google. And you could download this really great, if you're using WordPress, that is, and download a great tool. It's called Yoast, and it will help you SEO optimize each web page so you can actually see beforehand what it looks like in search. If you're not comfortable with WordPress, you can use Wix or Squarespace to build your very own websites or use anything else on the web. There's so many different resources nowadays. So the websites are a really powerful strategy. The suppression kits will sprinkle in search engines. Now you are creating 50 social networks or more using the suppression kits, but I'd like you to know they're not all gonna rank on the first page of Google because Google likes to sprinkle in content 
What that means is you're going to have a combination of websites, a combination of articles, and a combination of social media platforms. That's why when you Google anybody, you don't only see social media usually. You might see Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. You might just see Twitter and Instagram if they're more active. You might see TikTok if they're really making a lot of videos. So these are things that are really going to help you. Let's talk about the articles because many of you have negative content that are posted in mainstream media. Maybe somebody has slandered you and put that on a listing site. We've seen everything from Patch.com, Georgia Gazette, every website out there, Fox News, MSNBC, Guardian, even Guardian Nigeria we've serviced. So there's negative content from a plethora of platforms. And what you can do is start writing long form journalistic style articles. When I worked as a journalist, I learned how to write journalistic style features. They're all in third person. You can use Microsoft Notes or anything you want, but the point is to write a story about yourself in third person. We like to open it with a quote. That's a great way to introduce an article. So we'll have a headline. Again, the headline is always the H1 tag. So that's gonna be something like first name, last name, or your organization name is, and then we have a verb, a positive verb always. This immediately instills positive sentiment. So for writing an article about you, we're not gonna say John Doe is talking about a new project because it's very neutral. It doesn't tell us what the story is about. We want to immediately, when content is indexed, know that that content gives people a positive sentiment immediately. It's going to give them a gut feeling to trust you more. It's going to give them a good feeling when they, when they search you. So an example might be John Doe is helping people overcome. And you know, we might put challenges, but again, challenges is negative. So again, we'll go positive again. John Doe is helping people accomplish their dreams. Bam, we have the word accomplish, it's the verb dreams, accomplish their dreams. It's positive rather than John Doe is helping people overcome challenges. That's still better than John Doe is doing cool things. John Doe is doing a project. But the, the key here is, and we're building ethics in online reputation management because as far as we can search, there aren't any ethical guidelines in this sort of industry. And so, so we're building it out. And, and some of the main principles are what you publish has to be true. Okay. It's okay because it is promotional for you to focus wholly on the good aspects, right? Because the news will focus sometimes only on the bad aspects because that's newsworthy. What's also noteworthy are the great things about you. So focus on the good things that you've done, but make sure it's truthful. The second one, if you are too attached and you will be, you will be a bit biased writing about yourself, commission another writer to interview you. Our process for this, and this is very in-depth, revealing all our industry secrets here. Our process for this is you'll be interviewed for about 15 minutes with open-ended questions. Things like, tell me about your career. What are some things you've done to mentor and help other people? What, is the, what about this specific industry operation? What's your approach to tackling it or solving it? And then we develop a 15 to 30 minute transcript. Sometimes they're longer, they're an hour. Sometimes they're two hours because our clients love to talk. I like that too. Sometimes I can't listen to all of it, but I'll bring the audio to the gym so I know what our writers are working on. Sometimes we get it on WhatsApp, so we'll take the audio and stitch it together. Then I'll download that file and add it to Otter. Otter is going to get an AI transcript, and from that the writer can work away and produce five long-form articles in journalistic style. Check out school or consider booking a call with us for a consultation. Calendly link available down below. My name is Nader Nader Najad, Director of Nader Najad Media, and thank you for watching.